like therapy 101. Others find it a hobby and others despise driving. It's all based off preference, honestly. Everything or majority of what I mentioned in this video is based off of things that I've learned from other local drivers and things I've read up on job descriptions and honestly my own preference. So those who don't know, I've never been a local driver, not at all. You know, I started out OTR, currently OTR, and OTR works for me because I allow it to work for me. Also, I find no type of pleasure in seeing the same routes, doing the same routes, day in, day out. Waking up at a certain time to go to work and then keep it consistent with that. I find no satisfaction in that at all. Many local positions can't match my pay, you know? Like if a rack is enough for you a week, if the bare minimum of 1100, 1200 is enough for you a week, that's you. Me, my expectations are a lot different than most, you know? If I were to ever do anything local, I would have to get paid $32 or more an hour. Or more, straight up, straight up. Because I'm the one who knows what my accounts are set up, how they're set up, and what they look like. Nobody else does but me. And all those people who oversee my account. So, yeah, some local positions are sent from now. Some are hourly, some are salary, whatever. I'm not, I'm not with the pay. I'm not. Some do uniforms, some don't. I'm not with the uniforms. I'm not. I like to wear what I wear comfortably when I'm driving. I don't care to be home every night. Some people do. Some people get homesick. Some people can't handle OTR after three years, that's them. But I make what I make of it and I enjoy what I do, straight up. I feel as if over the road, honestly, whether it's like half of the world, dedicated, regional, whatever, it's all what you make of it. Some people need to be home every blessed night. And personally, I feel if I was going to make like a rack a week, 1100 a week, I wouldn't be driving trucks. I go do something else that entails something else besides driving trucks. Straight up. When it comes to the consistency of routes, I like to see different things. Honestly, like I said in the previous video, the spontaneity of going to different places and not knowing really what to expect when you go to some of those places, that's what I prefer. That's what I rock out with, you know? I find no use in being a local driver and touching freight. Some companies, you load or unload your truck. I'm not with it. I don't find no use in driving for an extended period of time and then let alone to come unload and load a truck. If that was the case, I stayed my behind working at Amazon. <laughs> for real, straight up. Some people, and then on top of that, this might be like, so whatever to some of y'all, I'm not breaking a nail for nobody. <laughs> like, straight up. I honestly grow out my nails to a certain uh, length. And when I've exceeded that length, I either cut them down and start over. But personally, I'm not breaking a nail for any type of freight or any load. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Um, what else can I say? Any use of being in a day cab at all. I like this little extended sleeper cab. Would not. For real, for real. I think I already said it when it came to like what the 10 hour shifts, 14 hour shifts, and driving. No, I'm not with it. I'm not. Me, OTR works now because I can honestly enjoy my time out here and make what I want to make of it. You know, you touch down in certain cities, certain states, depending on you whether you got a bike attached to your tractor <laughs> or you want to um, hit up an Uber or hit up a Lyft, go live it up in the city. I honestly can do everything of what I want to do being an over the road driver as what a local driver can do. No, I'm not home 24 seven to be around the people that I'm around, but if you rock out with me, you rock out with me. If you don't, you don't, straight up, you know? Like some family, some immediate family will understand. And if they don't, then I'm really meant to be there, in my opinion. When it comes to like relaxing, Get your hair done, get your nails done, your personal things. Of course, I would want to be home to do that. But sometimes you got to make way 
and do it out here on the road. Depending on you, depending on your preference, you know? OTR, honestly, is where my heart and my mind lies for the time being. Because I kind of like being away sometimes. It's like I'm on a vacation. <laughs> in a way for real for real i don't know why but it's kind of like i'm on a vacation you know otr honestly is what you make of it with me i don't have no issues when it comes to like um gaining excessive amounts of weight i don't have that issue some people do some people cannot control their weight for the death of them they can't you know some people need to be home to eat the things that they normally would eat on a regular basis some people need to be home to fill up on whoever they need to fill up on when they get home, you know? Like, it's all about your own preference. This works out for me because I allow it to, as I've said already. It's not my fault that there are some drivers out there who are mad after three years of OTR because it became too much. It became too much for you. Just because it became too much for you don't mean the same for me, <laughs> for real. It don't, straight up. As some of y'all probably already figured out, with all these states, these different states of where I've driven, I get to sightsee. I get to see all these things. Being a local driver, I'm not with the back and forth direct route from point A to point B. Nah. This right here is it for me for the time being. It is. So if it don't work for you, don't bring that BS upon me. Straight up. I find no use in being a local driver because the title of being local, <laughs> I'm not with it. <laughs> That's whack, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I don't know. All jokes aside.